this is Nikki. I came to bring a special. There has been so many people asking me to do Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, you guys. So I got to line up, you guys. So this is, you know, for people who are interested in it. I've had so many requests and I said, let me just go ahead and do this. Okay. So what we're going to, so what I have is I have Prince Harry up here on my second, my first row. I have Meghan Markle, Markle down here on my third on my second row and we're going to pull mutual energy okay in between these energies okay um first off when when this all began okay um Prince Harry was in a situation to where as he uh had a lot of ambition okay um he wanted to be a boss himself okay he wanted to be in control of his life he was in preparation mode to do this um, he already had the education and the, the the dedication, okay, the expertise in what he needed to do. He was very attentive to detail um, and focused and dedicated, but there was something else that he wanted to master, and I truly believe it was himself, okay? I haven't clarified, we will, okay? Um, at this particular time when he met her, okay, um, listen, she's showing up as Ace of Cups, okay? Um, she took this energy and basically developed a friendship or he developed a friendship. They both developed a friendship with one another. It became love, okay? Um, this was a gift. They looked at each other as a gift. This was joy. They vibed very high off of one another, you guys. This was blessings. This, Meghan Markle in this particular area, it came up as a blessing, okay? And, and very much so happiness, okay? When it comes down to his family, as far as the royal family is concerned, this is a this is a very tight knit group. Okay, a lot of people see them as like an institution or whatever they were being called. Okay, but this is a tight knit group. Okay, this is somebody who this these people are somebody who likes social groups. They like reunions. They like celebrations. They like gatherings. They like parties, and they like their tradition. Okay, listen, May and Marco wanted to be a part of this, and she was victorious in doing so. She had the six of wands when it comes down to entering inside the social group, having these reunions, having these parties, these gatherings, and so forth, okay? She had success in this, victory. She became famous for this. She got praise. She got accolades. She got awards. She won, okay? She got what she wanted, recognition, and she also was in the spotlight, okay? When it comes down to Princess Harry's energy, after all of this happened, okay, something came about to where some truth came out, okay? Somebody began to understand that, um it's not all, all all wonderful in paradise, okay? Something truthful came out, okay? Um, however, he still was being strong at this point, very protective. His independence was very, very, very important to him at this time. And this is the reason why he wanted to master himself and also have a lot of ambition, okay? Um, he was very principled, um, constructive, direct, and honest regarding um, his feelings for his family and his feelings for his wife, okay? Um, there's betrayal here, you guys, okay? I believe Prince Harry on some type of level or his family members found out about some type of betrayal in Meghan Markle's energy, okay? Um, and this right here has something to do with one word, all words or no words, okay? Some type of betrayal, some type of backstabbing, some type of destruction. And that's what it feels like more than anything. Um, she could have been under attack, okay? Um, Prince Harry being a protector could have not have liked this attack. There was agony here, okay? There definitely was severing ties um, with this here uh, family um, and separation. Um, this was a very painful ending, okay? So moving right al along, okay? And I'm going to clarify all this energy. Moving right along, okay? So what we have here is is after the truth got found out, okay? Um, after this protectiveness um, came up, after some after Prince Harry decided to be strong and, um, and pretty much... Um, direct okay in being protective um either delayed success happened gestation happened um somebody lost a lack somebody can became a lack of vision okay a uh, growth became an issue okay cultivation became an issue perseverance allocations overcoming difficulties and hard work paying off all became center stage okay with this will of fortune this is something that happened after 
whatever found out what after the severing ties of the family okay will of fortune is here life lessons good luck unexpected events destiny fortune faith and change okay this energy is more so in her energy than in his energy okay i believe what he's going through more is the delayed success okay um the having uh the the allocation okay the growth the cultivation all right, um, the hard working paying off. This is more in his energy, okay? The severing ties is more in her energy. Um, the life lessons is more in her energy. Um, the fate and the change is more in her energy. Listen, uh, in Prince Harry's energy, there is optimism, there is immaturity, there's a lot of ideas here, okay? Um, extroverted, maybe extroverted to the point to where he's never been able to be as extroverted before, kind of doing his own thing, being roguish and fun, okay, fearless, playful, and maybe kind of naive thinking that everything is going to be good news, okay? In her energy, what we have here while he's in that energy of playfulness and fun and uh, being extroverted and roguish, what we have here in her energy is being mature, grounded, mature uh, businesswoman, um, generous, social butterfly, luxury, successful, healer, practical, down to earth, okay? This is her energy right here, okay? Versus his energy. Last energies I have out is the Four of Pentacles and I have the Two of Wands. Four of Pentacles is in Prince Harry's energy and the Two of Wands is in Meghan Markle's energy, okay? So what we have here in the Four of Pentacles is we got money problems, number one. We got secret, secrets. We have possessiveness. We have security. We have fear of loss, okay? We have controlled or being controlled. We have... Um, Stinginess, materialism, savings, guarded, greed, and hoarding. One word, all words, no words, okay? That is in his energy. Um, her energy is taking risks, okay? Um, she's at a fork in the world with two paths, all right? Planning, um, you know, maybe weighing her options, waiting, decisions, progress, and leaving comfort zone, okay? That's what we got um, for their energies, okay? And this is for a Virgo and this is for a Libra. I mean, excuse me, a Leo, okay? He's a Virgo, she's a Leo. Holy Spirit, tell me about this energy, this much requested energy. So I give you all the praise and the glory. I need you to move. In the name of Jesus. All right, you guys. So let's find out about the Hermit. The Hermit is where I pulled the Hermit to assign Prince Harry because that is, he is Virgo, okay? wants to be the emperor showing up as the emperor okay he wants to be a leader of some type of sort okay he wants to take control of his life i don't necessarily mean, think that he wants to be the emperor as far as taking his father or his brother's place okay but i think he wants to be in control of his life and his you know what he wants to do okay husband tell me about um leo please She wants to have fun. She wants to gather. She wants to be sociable, all right? She wants to be sociable. She wants to gather. She wants to have fun. She wants to be accepted, all right? She wants to be included, included and inclusive, all right? This could be a little bit of messiness. This could be a little bit of gossip. There could be gossip. Of course, we know there's gossip around her. She's one of the most hated people in the world, which I don't know why. But, um, you know, people are people. Um, listen, okay, this right here is conflicting energy because he wants to be in control. He wants to be in control of his life. He wants to take leadership role of his life. And she's thinking about fanciful. She's thinking about sociable. She's thinking about, um, you know, friends and, you know, um, what can I say? Um, being a business person, collaborating, successful, okay? And luxury, all right? Being seen as a princess, all right? She doesn't want to lose that title. Give me the Eight of Pentacles, please, in Harry's energy. This is what he wants to master, you guys. He's finding something out, all right? He's getting more information on how to master um, this leadership role that he wants to take in his life. Um, 
he is finding more out about his counterpart. He's also finding out about how difficult it is to prepare or ambition, new job, entrepreneurship, uh, uh, expertise, setting goals, attention to details, um, focused and dedicated. He's finding more information out about that. He's doing a lot of research, okay? Um, the Empress is very much so in his energy and to the Emperor, to the Empress, that is also um, his counterpart. So that could be her. She's very much so in his energy, okay? Tell me about the Empress, please. Ace of Pentacles, okay? So this is a person who wants money. This is a person who um, is looking for bright opportunities in money, stability, okay? Um, wanting to build a, a better and brighter future instability with a lot of money, with Ace of Pentacles, okay? So dropping down below into her Ace of Cups when they first met or when they first got together. The relationship. Okay, this was very tumultuous as far as burdensome. Okay, and it probably was with the paparazzi and you know the family and, and everything else going on. The fact that she's mixed race, all of that stuff could have been a burden and could have played a part in the fact that um, you know this love, this new romance, this joy, this happiness, this blessing, this pure, pure intentions from the beginning. This was a burden, okay? And it had everything to do with the, the, you know, what was stacked up against them, okay? Tell me about the family, Holy Spirit. This is not just a royal family. This is not just an institution. This is a family. Forget about what you see on TV. They believe in social groups. They believe in gatherings and partying, okay? Somebody is finding out information about that. Somebody is definitely um, learning about that. I believe this may be Meghan Markle's energy. She had to take upon the energy of having to learn how to conduct herself with these gatherings, with this group of family, okay? There was some um, some lying and manipulation going on. The magician is here. I wouldn't necessarily maybe say outright lying. It could possibly have been. But it's also uh, go along to get along, okay? Using every trick in the book in order to fit in, all right? She was victorious in doing this, okay, with the Six of Wands. Give me the Six of Wands, Holy Spirit. She did get her fame. She did get her recognition. She did get her accolades. And she thought about it with the hermit, okay? She thought about it. She went inside, okay? Once she got to this degree of accolades, being acknowledged, okay? She thought about it. And she became not a wands, okay? This is somebody who pretty much goes, veers off, okay? They, they don't follow the beaten track. Okay, this is somebody who has their own ideas, they're free-spirited, they're rebellious, okay? This is the energy that she thought about once she got in, okay? Holy Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Swords because this is what Harry found out. His heart got broke, okay? When he realized that the family and, 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 and her going off and her not being accepted or whatever the case may be, uh, the issues that they may have had, um, this broke his heart, all right? He wanted healing from this heartbreak with the star, all right? He had a lot of hope for this relationship, okay? He did not appreciate this backstabbing. He did not appreciate this betrayal um, when he came down to his wife. He did not appreciate the attacks, the ruin, the agony. Um, he didn't want to sever ties, okay? This was a very painful ending, And he had to work very hard, once again, back to the Eight of Pentacles. He had to find ambition. He had to prepare, okay? It may have been a new job, mastery, okay? Entrepreneurship, what skills do I have to bring to the world that once I sever ties, that we'll be able to work for our relationship going forward, okay? In our life, all right? Because this is a person that he looks at as his twin flame soulmate connection. This is the person that he needed. They leaned on each other. You see how their backs are turned to each other? They're leaning. They're holding each other up. Okay? Even through the transition. Okay? Of after the backstabbing. After the betrayal. After the attack. However, 
delayed success, gestation, allocation, hard work and paying off. He used what he could as far as his charm, um, his status, um, and just the fact that people uh, loved him from where he is from and also here in the United States to be able to have some type of growth, to be able to have some type of cultivation. He did this because he needed to uh, make money, all right, to be able to support his family, all right? Right, he already called the judgment shot. He already said, and it may be some legal issues going on there as well, but he already said that this is what he was going to do. He was going to stick by his family, okay, regardless to what people thought about her, okay? Listen, she, she and he both was not interested, okay, in this here change, all right? It was not that, um, oh, I'm leaving the royal family because I want to leave the royal family. No. They weren't interested in leaving the royal family. They were pushed to leave the royal family. And the reason why they were pushed to leave the royal family is, like I said, betrayal, destruction, attack, ruin, agony, severing ties, okay? Some information came out regarding his union, his love with the person who he leans on that broke his heart, okay? He had to make a decision. So he was in the four of cups. He was in apathy, okay? When it came down to this change, that was something that it was not necessarily what they wanted to do. Now, once they did it, he got into a very fun, loving, roguish, you know, um, immature energy, okay? Tell me about it. And there you go with the marriage. So while the marriage is supposed to be something that is um, not so roguish, okay, not so immature, um, he's showing up that way in the marriage as well, okay, in the four of wands. This is a soulmate twin flame connection, all right? So how he's showing up is being very optimistic when it comes down to this marriage, um, very immature, um, he's full of ideas, different ideas, um, extroverted, verdict, rogue fearless, playful, good news, okay, and full of ideas when it comes down to this marriage and when it comes down to this soulmate twin flame connection, okay, I don't think that he meant for things to go the way they do, now, she's coming up as queen of pentacles, okay, this is a person here who wants to live a, cer a certain type of life, they want to be a social life, all right, this person is grounded, this person is a businesswoman, generous, luxury, healer, successful, practical, tell me, and she's coming up as deceitful, okay, with the seven of swords, she's coming up as deceitful, all right, that is a liar, a stealer, a killer, a cheater, a thief, it, the seven of swords is, I'm not saying she is, I'm just saying that's what the seven of swords is, okay, that is an untrustworthy individual, that is somebody who is willing to do things, unscrupulous things, in order to have this social light lifestyle, okay, and that's what makes her happy, this social light lifestyle makes her happy, it's the sun, it is the happiest card in a 78 tarot, a 78 card tarot deck, okay, so being this social light, this social blood butterfly, having these circles of friends, having this circle of influence, okay, she's willing to be deceitful to do that, all right, deceitful is deceitful, okay, pick a word, all right, Holy Spirit, tell me about the Four of Pentacles and um, Holy um, and uh, Harry's uh, Prince Harry's the possessiveness. Okay, money problems, um, security, stinginess, fear of loss, control, materialism, savings, guarded, greed, hoarding. Okay, secretive. Oh, one word, all words, no words. Okay, and it is about it's, it's because of the Empress. All right. This is what he's protecting. This is what he's holding on to. This is what he's not uh, letting go of. And this is what he's having money problems about. Okay. He is becoming very defensive with the seven of wands. Okay. He is starting to build boundaries. Okay. So there is starting to be a little bit of problems in paradise here. Okay. Right. And just what I said is problem is, you know, it, guarded regarding the ten of cups okay so you got the seven of wands which is defensive and guarded um it's also building boundaries okay regarding gatherings family domestic bliss happiness marriage fairy tale uh peaceful life reunion security harmony and blessings 
got everything to do with this person right here, which is the Empress. The person who he thought of and it looks at as stable, luxurious, beautiful, creative, fertile, abundant, love, glamour, nurturing, a divine feminine. But this divine feminine is in a two of wands at this point in the game, okay? This is taking a risk, planning, two path, options, waiting, decisions, progress, leaving comfort zone. She's contemplating her marriage with the Two of Cups, okay? That's mutual love. Taking a risk on mutual love. Two paths when it comes down to mutual love. Planning on mutual love. Options when it comes down to mutual love. Waiting when it comes down to mutual love. Decisions, progress, and leaving comfort zone when it comes down to her mutual love, okay? Holy Spirit, give me more, please. The will of fortune is here, you guys. Okay, something will be changing. All right? This is divine. Between these two. Somebody is dang sure, and it is in her energy, dang sure looking for a bright opportunity, money opportunities. She's willing to take a risk, a leap of faith. Um, she's willing to risk it all, okay? Um, this is full energy. Um, this is being very spontaneous about this opportunity that she's looking for, okay? And the end result is five of cups. This is misfortune. Excuse me. This is having an emotional funeral, okay? So what I have under the deck is somebody has a very, either her or him, has a very um, difficult decision to make. Somebody definitely has the face of sexy, crazy, cool. They're still trying to keep their image King of Swords is in this energy. Something will be getting cutting off. Somebody here, either both of them, her, him, um, is in despair, you guys. This is depression. This is a lot of thoughts going through somebody's head. This is not working out the way that they need, wanted it to work out, okay? There is love here. Somebody definitely is having strength here. But somebody definitely needs to fall back. And somebody definitely is looking at their options, okay? As far as this bright opportunity, all right? Five of Wands is here. There's conflict and friction in this Ten of Pentacles marriage. This is becoming very stagnant, okay? And somebody is thinking about this stagnation when it comes down to this love with this Ten of Pentacles, okay? So, that is the gist of what's going on with Prince Harry and Princess Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex. And because I know they like to, you know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to get sued with nothing like that, okay? Um, this is for, um, you know, my opinion. This is what my cards say. And, um, you know, hey, take what resonates, leave what don't. Um, my word is not law when it comes down to this, okay? I do not know these people personally. I just got a whole bunch. And when I say a whole bunch, I think I had over 200 um, uh, people who have wanted me to do Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. So here we have it. And um, yeah, wish them the best, you guys. I love that couple. You know, I really just do. So with that being said, this is what I have for you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you soon.